five, four, three, two, one. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Picture this. It is a normal day in New York at 8.40 a.m. You're at your favorite breakfast buffet or at home getting ready for work, and all of a sudden you hear a... One of the Twin Towers has been attacked. I remember I was getting ready to go to class that morning when my roommate called and told me to turn on the TV. And there it was, you know, the attack um, on the news. We got, you know, you could see it live. And, um, and it was kind of what people picture when you hear the words 9-11. It was the picture of the Twin Towers with the smoke bellowing out. And I remember just being confused and not really knowing what was going on and also not knowing what to do as a college student sitting you know, in my living room thinking, do I get ready and go on to class or, or do I stay home? But you know, being a, a good college student, I didn't wanna not report to class if we were gonna have class. So I went ahead and, and left. And to be honest, arriving at the campus was just super weird. It was just an eerie feeling. Um, People didn't really make eye contact, or if you did, you just glanced over at that person and then kind of looked back uh, where you were going or looking down. It was just somber and just super eerie, and everybody was kind of the same. And it wasn't your traditional campus feeling or vibe where, you know, students were laughing and joking and, you know, whatever, or hurrying to class. This was definitely like everybody was just making their way but not really being in a rush. It was almost as if you were like, you know, zombies, just going through the motions. And um, anyway, I remember I had an abnormal psych class that morning. Um, like, I think people were mostly looking out the window, to be honest, just with confusion. And um, Dr. Jarvie came in and rather than going behind the desk like he normally did or, or going up to the board, he came in in his suit again and sat on top of the desk, which was really unusual for him. And I remember he just grasped the sides of the, of the desk, the front of the desk, and, um, and he just looked at all of us and he said, I don't know what to tell y'all. He said, this is something that our country has never experienced. This is something we have never experienced in our lifetimes. And so he told us to just go back home. He said, we're not, and you know, to be honest, the mere shock made us unable to concentrate or really do anything. To be honest, the aftermath was also something amazing. Our country swelled with patriotism, and I had not seen this in my lifetime. There were no small arguments over things that separated us as people. The news didn't feed into hate, and for once and for a time, we were just united as people, just as Americans. And a horrible tragedy gave birth to a beautiful unity for a time. I think those of us who lived through it will always remember that and just pray that we never forget. It has been 19 years since the attack on 9-11. And yet more and more people are born who weren't there. But the memory lives on to be people who were there and the memorial. But nothing can replace the Twin Towers. The devastating event shook America to its core.
Good morning, PCHS, and welcome back to the Bears Den News. I'm Olivia Colley, and today is Friday, September 11th, 2020. This morning's moment of silence was dedicated to the victims of September 11th, 2001. May we never forget. Now, here's a look at your sports. Tonight, the fifth-ranked Pierce County Bears take on Wayne County at home. It's a 7.30 kickoff, and remember, no tickets will be sold at the stadium. Your last chance to buy available tickets is online at GoFan.co. But if you can't make it to the game, you can watch it on the NFHS network. Subscription fees apply. You can also listen on the radio on 97.7 FM. Now, here's a look at weather. I'm Davis Bird with today's forecast. We will have a high of 89 and a low of 74 with an 80% chance of rain today. Happy birthday today to Heather Ferguson, Kayla Naylor, Raven Perigo, and Michaela Hamilton. Hope you all have a great day. I'm Jake Brown, and here's what's cooking today in the Bear Cafe. Here's today's thought of the day. Stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. Tony Robbins. Now, let's look at this week's PBIS winners. Good morning, PCHS, and it's time for your weekly PBIS drawing for ninth grade. Maya Bowers. For 10th grade. John Brown. Now for 11th grade. Madeline Manning. Last but not least, 12th grade. Alex Reyes. We will draw more names next week. Thanks and back to the news. The PBIS word of this month is commitment. Keep demonstrating your ability to be responsible, respectful, and safe. Thanks and go Bears! <laughs> 